Community fire chief killed on the job while out helping somebody else. Tonight we're honoring and remembering the life of Edward Splatowski, who died last night in Kalamazoo County. We do have team coverage tonight, including the crucial importance of Michigan's move over law and what can happen if you don't follow it. We start tonight with 24 Hour News 8's Brady Gillum, who is live in Comstock Township to show us how the chief is being remembered. Brady. Brian Marley, a lot of people are going to miss the chief, but some are going to miss him who just know him as Ed. To much of the outside world, he was known as Chief Ed Switelski, head of Comstock Fire and Rescue. But to those in this small gym, he was known as Ed. Being with Ed makes you want to do better <laughs> in a way. Like, he's very inspiring, very motivating. He doesn't force it upon anybody, it's just who he is, it's who his character is. Shear says Chief Switelski, or Ed, had been going to this Kalamazoo gym for several months to get leaner and stronger, all in an effort to make him even a better firefighter. Even during the workouts, he's always lifting people up off the floor, always high-fiving them, almost as much as our trainers do. Just yesterday morning, Chief Switelski checked in on Facebook saying, may need a few modifications today, but I am here. That same night, tragedy struck. It would be his last time at the gym. That night, he responded to an accident on I-94. A car lost control and hit him. He died at the scene. He always came here. He really worked his butt off every single time he worked out, every time. Uh, he always gave it his all. He always left every bit of sweat drop on the floor as much as he could. The former Comstock Fire Chief knew Chief Swatowski. He knows what the chief would have wanted. And it's going to be tough, but they'll get through it. They'll get through it because they'll do it in his honor. That's what he would have wanted as a fire chief. Well, what's it like to lose him? <laughs> I don't know where to start. Um, <sighs> heavy. Heavy. It's sudden. Now, about 10 to 15 minutes ago, I saw Oshtemo Fire Chief Mark Barnes. He told me that the tentative plan right now is to have visitation next Tuesday with the funeral on Wednesday. Now, of course, I want to stress those are tentative plans. He said there'll be a meeting tomorrow to finalize everything. And, of course, once we know final details, we'll share those with you. But for now, reporting live in Comstock Township, Brady Gillum, 24-Hour News 8.